video we're going to look at indices. The next number is uh, a number where you've got a base and a power. So you've got the base uh, down here and you've got the power. It's a wee smaller number up in the air. The first rule of indices is when you multiply index numbers with the same base, you add the powers. Second rule is when you divide index numbers with the same base, you subtract the powers. The next rule is if you have an index number raised to a power, then you just multiply the powers. And this is a funny one, x to the minus a is the same as one over x to the a. So for example, if you had uh, seven to the minus two, that would be the same as one over seven squared. Another key thing to remember is anything to the power of zero gives you one, and anything to the power of one just gives you that thing. So use these rules then to rewrite the following. The first one, you've got Add the powers, so it's just going to be x to the 5. This one, you're going to subtract the powers, so it's going to be a to the 2. This one, you're going to multiply the power, so it's going to be x to the power of 12. This one, you're going to add the powers, so it's going to be 5 plus minus 3. It's going to seem as 5 minus 3, which is going to be, oops, which is just going to be 2, x to the power of 2. And this one, um, just a wee note on this one, if you had a, b, c raised to the power of n, what you would get is a to the power of n, b to the power of n, and c to the power of n. So here you've got a cube, the 2, and you've got a cube, the x squared. So 2 cubed is 8, and x squared cubed, multiply the powers, you'll get x to the power of 6. This last one, we could write that as 1 over, and then x squared. And that's the one that people find tricky, really, when you've got the negative powers. So this one again, you could write that as, it's, a, it's already in the form 1 over x to the power 4, so you write that as x to the minus 4. Okay, and this one, nice way to do this one, uh, the negative powers, a fraction to the negative power is just flip it upside down, so it becomes just 4 over 1, and then it squares. So in this case, I'm just going to do it this way and then show you could, you could change this one. Square the top line, you'll get 16. Square the bottom line, you'll still get 1, which is just 16. Or another way you could do that, what was it, 1 over 4 to the power of minus 2. You could just write that as it's the same as 4 over 1 squared, and then that's just the same as 4 squared, which is then, again, 16. And the last one here, anything to the power of 0 is just 1. I'm going to look now at fractional uh, powers. So I'm going to say, write this a different way. I'm going to write this as x to the power of 1 over n is just because it's easier to say it's the nth root of x so the power of 1 over n is the nth root of x so for example x to the power of x to the power of uh, one third would be the third root of x and we know the third root of x also means the cubed root of x okay the other one uh, if you do this i'm going to write this be different as well i'm going to write this as x to the power of m over n it means you do the x to the power of m, and then you do the nth root, or you could do the nth root of the x, and then raise it to the power of m. Now, more often than not, that's the easiest way to do it, because if you make take the nth root of something, it makes it smaller, and then raise it to the power of, uh, power of m. So basically, if you have a look at this again, the numerator, is a power that you raise to, and the denominator is a root that you take. Okay, so in both cases, that's what you've done. You've done the nth root, you've done the nth root, and then you've done also, and also then you've done, raised it to the power of m, and here inside, you've raised it to the power of m. So the numerator is the power that you raise to, the denominator is a root that you take. So let's look at this in practice then. Um, so here, we have 36 to the power of 0.5. Let's write that a little wee bit differently. That's 36 to the power of a half, which means the second root of 36. The second root of 36, you know and love as a square root. So it's just going to be 6. Okay, and then that's going to be next one, 8 to the power of minus 1 third. That's going to be 1 over 8 to the power of 1 third. Sort out the negative bit first, and that's 1 over the cube root of 8, which is 1 over 2. This next one, I would flip it first, take the negative into consideration, that's going to be 4 over 49, and then that's the power of 2 over 3. 
and that means you're going to do the square root and then you're doing it cubing you're cubing it so we'll do the square root first so the square root of 4 over 49 and then that's getting cubed so square root of 4 you'll get 2 square root of 49 you'll get 7 and then if you cube both those things well, the top one's easy it's going to be 8 2 times 2 times 2 the bottom one not so easy 7 times 7 times 7 would be 343 Okay, next one, what I would do here is I would sort out uh, this power. That is going to be uh, 32 to the power of, and that's going to be 0.6, uh, which is the same as 32 to the power of, and what is that? That's going to be uh, 3 fifths, which means we're going to do our fifth root of 32. And then we're going to cube it. Fifth root of 32 is going to be 2. And then cube it. You'll get 8. And this last one here. What we're going to have here. We'll sort out this. Leave the first bit as it is. 15x to 3 over 2. And then divide it by. And then do the 5 to the power of 4. You're going to get 6 to 5. And x to the power of half. Then half times 4 is going to give you x squared and then if you just divide you're going to have 15 over 625 which is going to cancel to be 3 over 125 and then that's going to be x to the minus 0.5 and i think well it's as nice as we could leave it well we we could write that one as 3 on the top line and 125 and that's square root on the bottom line but I think probably that index way of writing it's probably better. Okay, last bit here. We have got index equations. If you've got an index equation, what you want to do is make the bases the same. So try and generally make the base the smaller number. So 8, I could write as 2 cubed. If the bases are the same, then the powers are the same. So x is just equal to 3 here. A wee bit different. That means... Um, we, to do this, what you could do is we have at the minute you have x to the power of one half is equal to seven. A nice wee trick here is if that power goes across, it just you reciprocal re, turn it upside down, make it a reciprocal if I can speak, and so it really just becomes seven squared, and that is forty nine. Now a wee bit trickier this one. We're going to make the bases the same again. I'll make the bases both three, and then that's going to be three squared to the power of 2x minus 1. So that's 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 4x minus 2. Bases are the same, therefore the powers are the same. So that means 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x minus 2. So that's 3 is equal to 2x. We better work out x is equal to 3 over 2, which is 1.5. This one over here, again, we'll make the bases the same. We'll make the bases all 2. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 2 to the power of, and that'll be 5, and then x over 2 to the power of 3. And then that's 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 2 to the power of 5x minus 3. Again, the bases are the same, so the powers are the same. 4x equals 5x minus 3. Bring the 3 across, bring the 4x across, you're left with x. 3 equals x, or x equals 3. Two more to go, firing through these here. Here, this would be 3 to the power of 1 half is equal to 3 squared divided by 3 to the power of x, which means 3 to the power of a half is equal to 3 to the power of 2 minus x. 1 half is equal to 2 minus x. x is equal to 2 minus a half. So x is equal to 1.5. This one here, I would again make the bases 2. 2 squared to the power of 2x is equal to, and that's going to be um, 1 half would be 2 to the minus 1, and then that's the power of x times 2 to the power of 3. So that becomes 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 2 to the power of minus x times 2 to the power of 3. And that becomes 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 2 to the power of minus x plus 3. Bases are the same, so the powers are the same. 4x is equal to minus x plus 3 which means I'll go over here and finish that off. That'll be 5x is equal to 3, 
x is equal to 3 over 5. And that is us done.